All right. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Big waves out there. Good to see you. Yes, yes, yes. So hope everybody's having a great day. And if you're listening in on Facebook, we're glad to have you. Please let us know where you're tuning in from in the chats. And I uh, want to remind everybody, if you're watching this for the first time, we come here, me and Coach Myra Miles and the rest of the community, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time Zone. And we pick a word or we pick kind of a phrase or something that's going on in the world, going on in our thoughts. And we just take a look into it, just a peek into it, study it a little bit. And I challenge all of you, when we have a word, dive into it for that day. Think about it that day. Uh, today's is, how does resistance affect you? Well, um, resistance, I like to pull the definition, but it's the refusal to accept or comply with something. The attempt to prevent something by action or argument. The ability not to be affected by something, especially adversely. And so when I when I read that, I'm thinking about it after after Coach uh, Myra shared this with me yesterday. You could go in several different directions with this. I really enjoyed looking into it, but I'm choosing to look at it like resistance on a plane flight. I want you to think about a plane flight you've been on. How many of you have been on a plane flight in your life? Okay. And and I want you, I, I, I want to go in this direction. I want you to picture this. You're flying, but like you're outside of the plane while you're flying. So you're seeing this plane fly through the air. And think about the wind a plane goes through when it's flying. The, 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 the wind against the wings of the plane. We've all, how many of you felt resistance on a flight? Like you're flying through there and it hits a pocket or you resist and the wind is taking you a little bit, you know? And um, crazy enough for me, that's kind of soothing. I'm like, it just bounces me around, makes me want to go to sleep. But here's where I got to thinking today. I think we would all agree that planes receive resistance when they take off and they're in the air and they're getting to their destination they're getting to their goal but you know what part planes receive zero resistance and so when i started thinking about this uh when i started thinking about this i started thinking um resistance in my life okay so i'm gonna talk to you from the heart just real quick okay i gotta put my timer up So how does resistance affect you? There was a time in my journey, I was an educator. So I was a principal and I was an athletic director. And I decided to, um, I decided that I wanted to take control of my health and my finances. And I joined network marketing. Okay. Something that I'd never done. And I I got excited about it. I, I was, I was having a little bit of success. And, and here's the thing about it. It was not taking me away. I'm, I'm, I'm losing you. Uh, it was not taking me away from, from my job, my full-time job. Like I was focused on my full-time job. But anytime I left my full-time job, I decided I'm going to cheat time out of my hunting and my fishing and my other things to go build this side business, Right. And I started getting excited. I started having success. I started achieving something. And then resistance hit. Resistance hit. My superintendent sent out an email countywide to every faculty member in the school system and called out the company I was with. I don't know why. But he came at me, then sat me down and had a private meeting with me. And I looked at him and I said, Mr. V, <laughs> I've always done my job here. I'm the first one to school. I'm the last. And, and there was resistance. 
And when he walked out of that office that day, I was crushed. I mean, I really was. I was crushed inside. I felt like they were attacking me. They were coming at me. They were, it was resistance. But then it didn't take long till I got pissed. Excuse, excuse me for using that word, but I got mad. I got angry. And I thought, this is my life. I know what I'm doing. I know what's at, at stake. I know what's in my heart. I know how I treat people. And then I got mad and said, I'm about to go crush this business. I'm about to go turn all this resistance into action and I really credit him because I had a choice to fight or to fold and I think that's what resistance does thank God planes choose to fight through resistance and not fold when I'm on it I had a choice that day of resistance of fighting or folding and I chose to fight I really give him a lot of credit. My first year in network marketing was a success because he gave me resistance. I really mean that. If I saw him today, I would tell him, thank you. Because now I spent a decade in this industry and it's transformed my life in a lot of different ways. But here's the message this morning. For me, when I studied resistance, when I studied how it affected me, I really went back to that day and I went, I went back to that time in my life and went, you know, because of that resistance and fighting through it rather than folding, look what has transpired. And then I read these quotes as I turn it to coach. Woodrow Wilson said, the history of liberty is a history of resistance. You think our forefathers in this great land went through resistance? <laughs> Absolutely, on the way to something magical. You think Jesus had resistance? Winston Churchill said, victory will never be found by taking the path of least resistance. Fight, don't fold. And then lastly, Napoleon Hill said, out of resistance comes strength. I thought it was dynamite. Coach, the message today, the, the, the word, the phrase really, really impacted me. So thank you for bringing this up. And I hope this added value to you guys. Coach, I'll turn it to you. Okay, thanks. Normally I can unmute myself uh, and I just couldn't this morning. So Brent, wow, that was great. Thank you for sharing. Uh, good morning again to everyone. Uh, uh, happy Tuesday. So good to see everybody. Uh, the thing, one of the many things I love outside of seeing everyone uh, every single morning is how Brent and uh, as so aligned as we are, we go in different directions a lot of times about these messages and words and uh, thank you, Brent, for what you brought to us today. And so I'm going to take off with mine and hopefully a thing or two can stick with you as well. I'm going to ask you some questions through this. This is kind of like this is the teacher in me coming out. Okay, how many times have you been totally just jacked and fired up and pumped about a project or a plan that you have been putting your heart and soul into for many, many days, hours, sometimes weeks or months. How many of you have just have done that? You don't have to raise your hand. You can just think about that. Each and every one of us has done that. And you just could not wait to share this. You couldn't wait because you feel so good. You've poured your heart and soul into this and you believe in it. So you, now you're going into your classroom, your meeting room, whatever, with your peers. And again, I'm talking about peers. I'm not, I'm not talking about it's people that I'm 
working with. Okay. So I present this plan and man, the passion's just pouring out of me and I'm feeling it. And then boom, I start feeling a resistance from the people that I'm sharing with. I get a little bit offended at first because selfishly, I know the time I put into it. So I'm hearing all of these questions and all of these statements coming back to me on this plan that I'm feeling like is just fabulous. So what do I do? I just resist. Then because I do that, I start thinking negatively all of a sudden. I go back into thinking in a different way. Now that plan that I was so fired up about because I felt this resistance from peers, I let it get to me. And let me tell you why. We worry. This is human nature. Again, just think about this. Be honest. We all worry. Why and what other people think. We do that so much. We believe we start worrying about that more than we do that we believe in ourselves. Let's just be honest. That has happened. Hopefully, we're at a better spot now. But that's happened to all of us. Resistance from others, especially from an acquaintance, a peer. It makes us kind of go back into our shell. When others push back and resist the hard work <laughs> without truly e even listening to us, we need to start questioning ourselves because you just heard what I said. They don't know the time and effort that was put into that project. They don't understand what the objective is. All they did was just start firing away. But what do we do instead of believing in that? We go in our shell and we start disbelieving. Now, how many of you have heard of Bruce Lee? Oh my God, he was like super guy. You know, I didn't realize this until later in life that he was such a philosopher. He was a, a wonderful husband, family man, father. But he, uh, he made this famous quote. He's not one of it. He's known for whipping everybody's tail a lot too now in his movies, but... This was a powerful, powerful quote. And I want you to sit up and listen and to apply it to your way of thinking. He said, be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object and you will find a way round and through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. He said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water in a cup, it becomes a cup. If you put water in a bottle, it becomes part of the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. Water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. I could go on for days and take that quote, and you could too, and go a million miles with it. It is powerful. So now, let's push the rewind button. Go back to that plan you just presented to your group, and you're fired up. You're feeling confident. You feel like you're a difference maker. Their resistance is caused you to resist. Well, guess what? Their pushback causes you to feel the resistance. Look at it like it's just a crack. You following me? Their resistance is a crack. And if we are water, what happens? It flows. It goes to the crack. It fills in. Shouldn't we all be like water when we crack? Water is powerful. So think about that. Be water. Flow easily. When a crack hits, let the water flow.
and it'll fill. Have a good one, y'all. Coach, that was awesome. Uh, when I read your notes this morning, I, I was like, that is really good because we can take that with us as we go through the days, the weeks, the months to see those cracks and be the water. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Happy Tuesday to you. Let's go out and affect this world in a positive way. Have a great day. We'll see you back tomorrow. Bye, Love guys. You guys. Love you all. Grateful for you. Great job, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thanks, guys. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.